Um, what I remember is, I think we give up our best shot. You know, we we give everything we had. We try. You know, we try. You know, that's one of the things I'm gonna remember. You know, and I, because I, I was there, I can feel that. We try. We give our best shot. We can. It didn't end up the way we want. Everybody want, but thing happened. This game six, in particular, kind of will that sting for a while. Yeah, you know, no, no, it's not only game six. You know, the or the you know, or series like we up three one. You know, that's things I'm, I'm never, I'm never gonna forget. You know, it's gonna really take time for me really to. It's gonna really take a lot of time to get off of my head, you know. But you know, um, those kind of things does is those kind of things make us stronger, you know. Those kind of things make us better pl uh, players or better better person in life, you know. Those kind of experience. So, yep, yeah, I have to live with that. How tough was this season for you with the offense and you know having to? It was more. It was the most challenging season for me uh, this season, you know, and you know, like especially mentally too. Not just like playing, but mentally, you know, preparing myself, you know, like you said, different roles, and it was really the most challenging season uh, since I've been here in the NBA in my seven years. But you know, I'm gr I'm grateful f I'm grateful for that because it helped me, you know, helped me really to see the big pictures, and I'm sure it's gonna help me in the next couple of years. I'm sure next year it's gonna help me because you know, he really you know, like I say, it helped me to see the it helped me to see the big pictures in, in the game because it was not easy, you know. Um, yeah, it was not easy, you know, like playing different roles, you know, and both ends of the floor. And you know it was something new to me, you know. And but it was good for us, good for the team. You know it was helpful, you know. And that's why we got this far because you know everybody did they, did their job, you know, like mine. So yes. How difficult was this season for you physically? It seemed like times in the regular season. You, you didn't have that energy as you usually have been in the playoffs. You really seemed like you were rejuvenating. Uh, you know, it's just, I don't know, I don't know how to spend it, you know. It was a lot up and down, you know. Like I say, it was really the most challenging season for me, you know. Um, yeah, yeah um, you know, playing different, you know, playing different roles, you know, something new. Um, I'm not, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not complaining about it and I'm not going to complain about it. And like I say, you know, it was, maybe it was some way for me to open my eyes, you know, to to take my game in a dif different level. Not only just to be a sharp blocker and running on the floor, you know. So, I'm, like I say, it's going to help me next for next season, for next couple of years. Because what I learned this, this year, you know, and I'm going to work on this summer and try to get better next year. You know, so what is it that you think you need to work on? Oh, just you know everything. You know, like right now, um, after this um, this season, I feel like I have to be stressed for, like straight for. You know, no more, no more fake for. You know, I, you know, like you know, no more. F I have to be a, because that's the way um, the team wants me to be. That's the way work with the team. You know, especially when you got one of the two. Great offense player like Watson Kevin, they can put ball on the floor easy, attack the basket, and you got big like you know Steve and NS who can really dominate the paint. So I had to be straightforward for that for them. I have to for the space order. So and it's, you know it's not really it's really some change. Um, it's some change I didn't really you know well. At some point, I was thinking, you know, with more years, I'm gonna be a straight, straight four. But you know, something I didn't really expecting to be that soon, you know, and happen so quick. Well, actually, when things happen, things happen quick. You never know when it comes. So, and it's the moment right now. So, it's something I'm gonna be focused on. Of course, not losing my my side to play defense. You know, keep trying to keep better. And it's different now. I'm, you know, playing 
switching on one, two, three, four. So I have to be focused on, you know, um, yeah. And when the day I'm gonna play five, I'm gonna try to go black shell like I used to run the floor. So, yeah. Are you now the most complete player that you've been in, in the league so far? I mean, just all of that. You kind of mentioned this, you know. Being yes, just mentally. Best, yeah. Okay, you know, yeah. you know, mentally when I when I, when when is when I get on the floor, or when you know when I wake up in the morning to go work out, that's what I think because I have to work all those things. You know, I have to work this. I have to work work, pick and roll, pick and pop. You know. Shooting three, shooting two, you know, and play defense. Put my mind ready to play one, two, three, four, four. So yeah, you know, and like I say, uh, it was it was one of the toughest season for me mentally to be preparing for all the things. But and I think it's gonna help me a lot, you know, to see a big picture. Will you be nervous over the next month, two months uh, about Kevin and, and if there's a potential he could leave? No. Nah. No, that, that that's that thing that happened to us here. Yeah. We don't have those kind of things, you know. And one of one, this is this is one of the things I'm proud to be in this group. That's what we have, you know. And we don't really, you know, especially we don't really care or think about what people say outside. You know, it's about us, and we know what what we want. You know, same thing. I'm sure it's the same thing. Kevin want, I want, Russell want, Steve, and S, everybody. You know, so it's something we want, so I'm not really worried about that. Are you confident he'll stay? I'm confident, yeah. Of course, where are you going to go? Tell me. After what we did this year in the playoff, <laughs> where? You gonna t if you go somewhere, I don't know. Tell me where. I don't Sirs, know. What, what improvement did you see from the end of the season and into the uh, 18 playoff games? It seems like the team went to another level. Mm -hmm. Just give you a chance and... and, and round two against the Spurs and pretty much in round three against the Warriors. But there was some kind of team improvement. What did you see was the biggest improvement that made that happen? I think this mentality and sacrifice, you know, everybody this was ready to sacrifice for the team to do their job, you know. And like you say, in the season, was, it, was, it was a lot up now. But when, when it was playoff time, everybody was lacking, you know. Because you know, we, is the thing is it was the moment, you know, it was the moment, and everybody was ready to give up, to give everything, you know, for the team, best shot, so sacrifice, like I said, and I think that's why, you know, because talent, we we have talent, but you know, sometimes take to sacrifice, you know, for your team, how bad you want it, that's why we got we got this for. Kind of have an unknown future in a sense, and next year will be the last year under contract. Or is that? <clears throat> no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not worried. I'm not thinking, and I'm not talking about this. So, I'm I'm still a thunder, you know. So, I'm gonna wear the thunder jersey next year too. So, there's nothing to talk about the one now, and because it's not important, you know, it's not very really important things. Anybody else? Yeah. Steven Adams. Uh, has, has Steve scored 22? Is he shocking how good he's become so early? Steve going to be a monster. You know, give Steve two more years, he's going to be a monster. You know, that's all I can say about Steve. He's going to be a monster. You talked about your role change and how you adjusted the stuff. What was it like with Billy? Was it was there any type of tough transition with him or? You, uh, you know, any, anything new is, is never never easier. You know, when you know in the life when you wanna when you wanna make big step, you know, you wanna make change. You know, because we're so comfortable staying in the same thing. For you know what I'm saying? That's what it, it takes challenge. You know, it take courage. You know, to step in your comfort zone. So me this year was like stepping off on my comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? And you can see my number was down. But you know, it was like I say, you know, it was the way for me to step in my comfort zone because I could stay do the same thing. I could say, you know, I'm gonna space. I'm gonna run. Even Steve's out there, Russell out there. I'm gonna go be out there, try to get my offense rebounds, to get easy points. You know what I'm saying? That's my comfort zone. But I have to step away of my comfort zone, you know, to get better, to set big picture for the future. So I think that's gonna help me a lot. Anybody else? What do you? Think wow. the job Billy did. Ah, for first year, you know, he did a great job. You know, you have to give me credit, man. 
you know, um, for the first year. And then he get as far where we are now. He did a great job. You know, he's not really, I don't know, I don't think we're allowed to ask him, you know. Of course, he's still a lot of room to get better, you know. He's still a lot of room to learn, to get better. But, you know, from where he started in his first year, he did a good job. Thanks, Sergi.